Three footballers from the Zambian national team are recovering in hospital after they were involved in a road accident that claimed the lives of four others. The players were travelling to Lusaka for a national team camp ahead of the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations tournament in mid-January. When their minibus collided with another vehicle, the accident resulted in the death of the bus driver and three people in the other car. According to the Football Association of Zambia, defender Nyambe Malenga sustained a fractured right leg, Changwe Kalale and Chakao Siachimo are the other two players, and they too were said to be in a stable condition. We can now speak to Zambia's manager, Lusakelo Kamwambi, who was actually in the minibus at the time of the accident, but clearly he has now made a full recovery. Mr. Kamwambi, can you please tell us what happened leading up to the accident? Okay, uh, the, uh, the three uh, uh, players, uh, namely Yambi Mlenga, who plays for Tesco United, and uh, uh, Satsumo Chakawa, as well as uh, Changu Kalale, were on, on their way to join uh, camp for the preparations of African Cup of Nations. And they were on the bus, the company bus for Zesco United, where on the plays with other passengers. And unfortunately, uh, a car uh, heading from the different, from the opposite direction lost control and hit into them. And uh, that uh, it was a quite a fatal accident. But uh, um, we thank God that Yam and Yamde and the other two boys, uh, their lives were spared. However. They have got uh, some serious injuries that makes it difficult for us as a national team because they will not be available for the AFCON. And the uh, young Mlenga have become an integral part of the uh, Chipolo Polo, the resilient Chipolo Polo. And, uh, currently, they are in a stable condition. Uh, we expect to see. Uh, they will, they will be seeing doctors, uh, Nyambe especially, we will see the doctors, or especially doctors, to see how well the bone uh, can mend because they had a fracture, uh, as well as Kalare had a fracture, that they will be seeing bone specially. I appreciate it's difficult at the moment, Mr. Kamwambi, but please tell us what the current condition of the players is. Uh, yes, uh, of the three players, uh, one player suffered in Keno, uh, injuries and uh, he's in the intensive uh, care unit but in a stable condition no one's not uh, life threatening the other two suffered uh, uh, fractures uh, on the legs one uh, Nyambe on the right leg and uh, Kanale on the left leg so they are stable and they have got no other injuries other than the fractures which uh, unfortunately will take long to hear and lose the amount of the upcoming games. OK, as you just stated and has been reported, uh, defender Nyambe Malenga has fractured his leg, uh, which would, of course, rule him out of the finals. Now, how much, from a playing sense, will the squad miss him? Uh, definitely the squad will, def will miss him. He has become an integral part uh, of, the, of, of, of the resident Polo Polo. And, you know, in the last two games, uh, the player that normally plays in after back, uh, Stopila Suzu, was not available due to injury. And Yambe stepped into the breach and did a, one, a fantastic job. He showed our qualification. And uh, we're looking forward to having Stopila come back and the Nyambe to forge a good partnership there. So it leaves a gap you know, for us. OK, with just a little over four weeks until the finals begin, how much will this uh, incident affect Zambia's preparations for the tournament? Well, uh, uh, we, we do have uh, other players that will come in. Uh, but of course, as you know, the stability that was there will be affected. But uh, I think we will have enough time to, to look at the other players. That we have other players that have played in that position before. But, uh, not to underplay the fact that uh, Yambe was an integral part of cog in the team, uh, but we, we should be able to do um, uh, make amends there. Okay, finally, just wanted to know how how was the news of the accident broken to the players already in the camp, uh, and by whom? Yeah, um, some uh, they, they, uh, they were very sad about their colleagues. Uh, most of most of, most of them were coming from the Copper Dot region of, of Zambia. And they happened to pass uh, um, pass by uh, as well. They were themselves traveling. They passed through the hospital where Yambe was being Yambe and the others were being treated. The other two were being treated. 
and they were, they were somber, as uh, you know the situation can be. And they were looking forward to being with their colleagues, and uh, you know it's always a good thing whenever they meet as camp. I mean, national team players, uh, that one of them will not be there because of such unfortunate circumstances. Uh, they don't, I mean, they, took, they didn't take it well. They were sad about that. But uh, the, 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 the good part about it is that we're thankful to God that their lives were spared and uh, they should be able to recover for future assignments. And we'll be with them again. Okay, Mr. Lissakelo Kamwambi, uh, thank you for speaking to Sports News Africa at what must have been a very tricky time.